from the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE. Covering CloudNow's seventh annual Top Women Entrepreneurs in Cloud Innovation Awards. Hi, Lisa Martin with theCUBE on the ground at Facebook headquarters. We're here for the seventh annual CloudNow Top Women Entrepreneurs in Cloud Innovation Awards. Excited to welcome from the AtScale team to theCUBE for the first time, Sarah Gerber, co-founder and chief architect and award winner. Sarah, it's so great to have you on the program. Thanks so much, it's great to be here. So I mentioned you join a number of your peers at AtScale who've been on theCUBE, so mm -hmm. we're glad to have you on. So, co-founder of a tech company, we're here mm -hmm. celebrating uh, women who have not only founded companies, technical mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, venture-backed companies, really hard things to achieve. Mm -hmm. Give us a little bit of the backstory about the co-founding opportunity that you and your co-founders had about, what, five or so years ago at AtScale. Yeah, so uh, a number of us, um, a number of the founding team came out of, came out of Yahoo, um, where you know in the analytics group, we were seeing that the scale of data that companies were operating with was changing, uh, and the operational environment was changing with both public and private clouds. Um, and even at Yahoo, as a technology company, we found we were struggling both internally to develop the tools that we needed and also to find tools on the market that served the needs of our business users and our executives and our accounts and our salespeople. Um, and so we realized that this was just a, a sort of pivotal moment in the change of the way business was being done in the Valley um, and that there was this great opportunity to really help companies connect to their data um, wherever that data might be and whatever that whatever types of data they might have. So about five years or so ago, from your perspective, you are a, a STEM kid. You've got background in, in what is it, math and yeah, math, math and, and physics. physics. That's right. So you knew for, from the time you were a kid, I love this, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things that inspired you as being in many industries is challenging, but tech is as well, that inspired you to not only continue doing what you love, mm -hmm. but to actually step out of maybe you'd say a comfort zone of a, of a large company like a Yahoo mm -hmm. with your co-founders and start something brand new. Sure, um, I think it's, you know, the, the key thing to me is you have to sort of just believe in yourself and be your own champion um, because, you know, really, Everybody out there who, who accomplishes these things takes these steps and says, you know, this is going to be my moment, this is going to be my thing. Uh, and I think whether you're a woman or a minority or a man or anybody, you just have to be confident in yourself. Look for the things that you really enjoy. For me, that was math and science and technology. Um, and just sort of find, here's my niche, here's something I can be really good at uh, and become an expert in that area. And that, you know, that's sort of something you walk into over time. Uh, and sort of develop that confidence to, to sort of strike out and do, um, you know, do some amazing things in your life. How do you find that for, for those um, next generation, or even those that are, that are in tech now, to go, I don't feel confident enough, or they might feel some pressure. It's your recommendation, aligning themselves with a mentor, whether it be male, female, et cetera, whatever, to help them just kind of take stock of what's really important to them? Yeah, I think, you know, finding people who have been through it and talking to them, um, you know, whether it could be a boss or a coworker who's done interesting things in their lives or an old teacher or a present teacher, um, you know, I think finding somebody who can sort of give you that story of like, here's how I felt. Because, um, you know, you have to have confidence in yourself, but really nobody feels confident all the time. Everybody gets anxious or fearful before doing something new. That's part of it and sort of learning to look back and say, well, you know, I've been successful in the past and I've d overcome these obstacles and I'm ready for another one. Um. I always think something that's so interesting is, is the concept of imposter syndrome mm -hmm. and how many people suffer from it. And I didn't even know it existed until a few years ago. And mm -hmm. it levels that, okay, I'm not the only one. And yes. so I think that's something that some people are kind of born with that, like regardless, mm -hmm. like you, you loved math and physics and you're going to keep going. Yes. But for those, I think even sometimes acknowledging, oh, this is something that a lot of people that have confidence now didn't have mm -hmm. back in the day. I can overcome this as well. Right. I, you know, I think I think everybody has a little bit of imposter syndrome at times. I just think that, you know, the world can seem like such a big and challenging place, but really, it's all made of people, and they all have the same sort of interests and desires. Um, you know, not necessarily all the same skills, but 
you know, deep down we're all people. Exactly. So tonight, though, in the last minute or so, you have the opportunity to present in front of one of the most influential females of our time in technology, Cheryl Sandberg. Mm -hmm. Can you think back to yourself in college and if you'd known this opportunity was going to happen, mm -hmm. would you just said, yeah, that's about right? You know, I, I would have been a surprise, um, but, you know, I think, um, uh, I think, you know, with with work and with sort of following your passion, I think anything's possible. I love that. Well, Sarah, congratulations on the award and for all of your success at AtScale. We congratulate you and we thank you for stopping by theCUBE. Thank you. We want to have a great night as well. Thanks. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin on the ground at Facebook headquarters. We'll see you next time.